Investors pouncing on shares of CAT today after a bullish call from Wells Fargo. Analysts upgrading the stock to an overweight, raising their price target to $220 from $160. They are expecting earnings to substantially improve in the beginning of the year. And I think what, what this call is mostly predicated, at least uh, from what I saw, Grasso, was calling a rebound, a recovery, basically, in some key markets like oil and gas, as well as North American construction, which make up more than 50 percent of revenues uh, last year. What, what do you think of this call? Yeah, I like the call, and this is the reopening trade, and this is the bounce back trade, and this is the rotation from growth into value. We've touched on a handful of reasons and then some of why you should be a seller of tech and why you should be a seller of growth going into year end. I think you're gonna get the opportunity to buy all these names. And by the way, shameless plug, OLN, WRK, and TSE, those are three of my names. OLN is up 42% in 10 days. WRK, up 27% in 10 days. Trinseo, TSE, up 25% in 10 days. Caterpillar fits right in with those. I'd still be a buyer of value. I continue to buy all of them. Are you sticking with those three names that you mentioned that had these uh, massive runs in 10 days? I, I think all three of those names are going to double and triple from here. Yes, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I think that the value of these names are exponentially higher now, just now, the trades are actually starting to work, but the fundamentals are in place. I'm sticking with all of them. I'm along just as much as I was before. Both Pete and BK looked incredulous when Grasso said that he believes those three stocks are going to be doubles or triples. Still, maybe it's still the sweater. Maybe it's still the sweater. I wish they could see this sweater. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it is something to behold. Um, Pete, what would you say to Grasso? <laughs> Well, you know, I, I'm impressed that, that Steve thinks that some of the names can double. And That's really awesome. I got to look at those a little bit more closely. I think going back to Caterpillar for just a moment, when you've got improving margins and you've got great cash flows and it seems like everything that they've done in terms of what, what Caterpillar is doing behind the scenes and what we are seeing in far, as far as some of the economy. And Mel, you mentioned it. I mean, the, the, what we're going to be seeing in the U.S. with 50% of the revenue coming from a lot of the different areas where Caterpillar lived, lives right now, it makes a lot of sense to me that there is upside. Even though it seems like the P.E. level feels a little bit rich, I think there is plenty of room still to the upside. So I agree with the analyst, and I think there is some room to the upside. I don't know how much room there is, mm. but, you know, a 30 multiple seems to me like that would get awfully high and make me want to start to jump. But right now it's trading around a 22. Bono, and last word on CAT. Yeah, it's an interesting call. Essentially what it's saying is that the stock tends to be the leading indicator before we see um, fundamentals pull through on, eco on um, economic rebounds. And so oil and gas and construction, I think we've seen a bottoming there. You're, it's giving you a chance. I like this call much more than I do energy or some of the other spaces that have underperformed. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.